Okay, uh, in this section, I would like to explain the usage of the policies of balance of power and or the theories of balance of power. First usage of balance of power as history. So balance of power is used to explain object with objectivity the distribution of power in history. In other words, so the inductive way. Induction means the as, the as a result of it, we introduce or explain history as a result of the uh, historical events. In other words, the, with the inductive ways of explaining history, it draws a general thesis from an individual's peculiar experience. Balance of power theory extracted a general thesis from an UK's peculiar historical experience. I explained about the, UK, the UK's dip diplomacy in 19th century, make alliance with the France or uh, Russia, or France or Prussia, something like that. So as a result of U UK's experience in history, we drew a general thesis making balance of power or making equilibrium. So this theory generalizes the Great Britain's peculiar experience in the 18th to 19th century, explain the world history in these terms. With the experience of UK of 19th century, we use this framework in order to explain the East Asian politics, make a balance of power between the US and Japan on the one hand, and the China and Russia on the other. That is the induction, inductive ways to explaining history. Obviously, balance of power is a useful tool to explain history. Now, balance of power is policy prescription. So politicians make foreign policies in order to maintain a balance of power. Or they use it as a principle to condition such policies. It is a policy guide for decision makers. Let's make an analogy of the, of the prescription. If we go to doctor and doctor prescribes a medicine, he gives you a or she, he or she gives a prescri prescription sheet. And you go to pharmacist, and a pharmacist fills that prescription. So pharmacists are making drugs according to the prescription. So policymakers are making policies according to that prescription, balance of power. For example, policymakers of ROK, South Korea, continuously consider the balance of power all the time in Northeast Asian Asia, Northeast Asia. If we look at the uh, some power balance between the two parties, the one is U.S. Korea or U.S. Japan alliance versus China Russia DPRK North Korean alliance. So there are two kinds of the uh, power balance in the north and south. It is North Korea and China and Russia, if not legal alliance. It's allegedly alleged alliance among three countries. This is South Korea and Japan and US. So South Korean or other countries, politicians, continuously consider the situation of balance of power when they make policies. So balance of power certainly used as a policy description. It's a policy guide for decision makers. Now, the last usage of the balance of power is balance of power as system. 
In the state of anarchy, each country makes efforts to survive and be prosperous, thrive. As a result of it, always make the same efforts, the same functions. Each country has the same functions to make efforts to survive and thrive. As a result of it, a weaker country increases its own power or pursuing an alliance with other powers to match the enemy's power. If a weaker power increases its own power or if it cannot afford to it, it makes an alliance with other power in order to match the enemy's power. So, balance of power system is ine established inevitably. It's a final resort for the weaker countries in the power pyramid of world politics. So with this principle, weaker states are participating into balance-making processes all the time because weaker countries cannot afford increasing defense expenditure, increasing powers. Weaker power states must participate into balance-making processes all the time. That's a balance of power system. So balance of power system always provides the rules of the game to each state. Rules of the game to each state. So if we look at the uh, power pyramid of world politics, obviously uh, the US is in the, uh, the top point. In the second tier of countries, perhaps the uh, Japan or Germany or UK, something like France. And third tier, probably uh, South Korea is over here, and third tier countries, and the developing countries over here. And since the, uh, this power structure provides the rules of the game, the so-called balance of power system, those countries in any position of this power pyramid are trying to make alliances all the time because all the countries are functioning, are making similar functions. They always participate into the uh, balance making processes. So balance of power is, is used as a system.